Hey guys, I was trying to come up with a uh, method of teaching uh, the idea of how you might have personal biases in your head and how you can't change the way you think about something or see something and, and give you a solid idea without using uh, something that might be a recent news that you guys might have like your own personal biases about. I don't want to I don't want to offend anybody. So, uh, I thought about the the dress. Okay, I don't know if you guys remember the dress from about five years ago. Let me show you a picture of it. This is the dress. Okay. Uh, first thing I would like to ask you is, uh, what color is the dress? Okay. And uh, so I will tell you what people see okay a uh, majority of people that see this say that that dress right there is white and gold okay and then uh, me personally I see this dress as blue and black and when I first when this first came out I was like I don't even understand how people see a different color here so once uh, videos started coming out about it uh, science uh, neurologists really were the ones that were connecting it they said uh, because of personal biases that you built up in your head the way that the background is shown shadows and how the lighting hits the dress your eyes can perceive different colors so it's gonna pick it up differently so me personally I see blue and black but somebody else might see white and gold because of personal biases that they've built up in their head over their lifetime and I can't like change, be like, okay, I see blue and black and be like, ah, I'm going to change my personal biases and now I see white and gold. That's not a thing. I can't do that. I just can't see white and gold. But then I saw this photo and I really liked it. And it kind of, it makes me see it in both lights, which I like because it's kind of like some, some subjects that might be debatable. And if you look at it from one perspective, you can see one color, but from a different perspective, you can see it another color. So if you look at this picture right here, I right now I am looking at this dress. It is white and gold. I can't. I don't think you can see it any other way. But as you scroll down, and you look at the bottom here, now I can see. Here, let me zoom in a little bit because it's easier. Okay, so. Now I see this half blue and black, okay? But I'm saying that this is blue and black. If I scroll back up, it switches on me and now it's white and gold. I don't know if it's happening like that with you guys, but it's kind of like that idea that, well, if you explain it or you debate it a certain way, maybe I can, I can agree in a certain, I can see your, your perspective. But if you explain it a different way, I might see the other perspective. Kind of like if I look at it with this side, I see white and gold. But if I look at it in another way, I see blue and black. And I think that's so cool. And then if you saw it as uh, blue and black, I just figured this out with my wife right now. I was showing her this picture, and she was like, no, all of it's white and gold. I don't know what you're talking about. And then uh, she was looking at this, and she was like, okay, well, that's blue and black. And I switched back to this, and she was like, well, now the dress is blue and black. And I was like, it's crazy, right? So I hope that that blew your mind a little bit if you were able to see different colors. If you weren't, you have personal biases that have been built so strongly in your head, you can't switch them to make your brain see another color, which is crazy, I think. I think that's such a crazy idea. But I just thought uh, I would make a little video like this because I thought about it after I created those other ones. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it uh, and have good luck on chapter three.